over your bed. I said I'm telling you the truth. Little Jojo from school told me if I Little went. Jojo, really? The yeah. dumbest guy in our class? Listen, please. Go ahead. Little Jojo told me when we was in lunch on Wednesday. Yeah. I'm being serious. I'm listening. Little, little Jojo little. literally gets F's on every test he He even got F on a test that wasn't even a test.
when I went in there. Bitch, just invite me back to the game, man. I'll be back. I gotta go to the bathroom, bro. Ooh, they better be lucky they're good at Call of Duty. I wouldn't dare play with those little nerds again. I can't believe they really believe in this dumb seed or believe in ghosts. Imagine believing in a ghost and you're like 15 years old and you get A's in school and you believe in ghosts. You should get F's if you were in my grade. That's what I think. What the heck was that? Man, that ain't no ghost. I'd never be scared of no ghost. I ain't no JoJo. JoJo really believes in ghosts. That's why I don't talk to that nerd now. All I do is play the game with that little... Okay, what was that? So far 
far away there was two kids who stayed home alone. No parents, no cousins, no nothing. Just a boy and a girl. Dad, we're home alone and I'm a girl and you're a boy. I know, but these two kids were home alone and they were with a big, big, big monster that lived in a lagoon with a other scary monster. He has friends. That's so cool. I thought he was mean. He's, he's not that mean after all. Layla, please, just listen to my story. Uh, I'm sorry, Zachy. Go ahead. Anyways, his name was the Great Googly Moogly, and nobody has ever seen him unless... Unless they're his parents, duh! Right? Wrong! Unless they're the missing kids that nobody has ever found because they... Because they what? Interrupt me again, and I'm going to call them on you. Wait, wait, no, 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 I'm sorry, please don't call him on me. Like I was saying, it's because they take them to the CD Monster Bad Eye Kid Dungeon. Ah! Oh, you think that's scary? Sometimes they're little girls that have two buns in their head and their names start with... Buns! Is this story real, Zachary? I don't know. You want to find out? Uh, no, uh, I'll just keep listening, but you were saying their names start with the... L! Their names start with L! But don't you worry. He won't get you unless you're... As long as I'm a good girl who eats all of her vegetables? No! As long as you... Wait, 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 wait! Don't tell me! I have to go party first! As long as you don't go anywhere by yourself. <gasps> what? I can't party on myself! If you do, oh, it's going to be so bad. Um, how bad? Because maybe I could just chance it. You'll end up at the Sea Monster Bad I Kid Dungeon. Okay, yeah. Now, I'm only telling you this because you're my favorite person. Okay, I'm listening. If you ever, ever, ever feel somebody is watching you, it's the... Mermaids! I knew it! No! The great googly moogly! Where can he watch me from? Anywhere. He lives all over the lagoon. The lagoon? Where is that at? Anywhere that has... but also the shower, toilets where you potty all the time, and the sink, so don't wash your hands. What? Yep, he could be waiting and watching for you anywhere. Anywhere? Yep, anywhere. Okay, start time's over, see you later. What, how's he just gonna tell me that and then, wait a minute, he left me here all alone, no.
Kayla, turn the water off right now or I'm snitching. <laughs> Second, it's not Halloween yet. Okay, today is the 20th. Wait a minute. Ah! Uh oh, uh -oh. It's, it's yes day. Yes, yes, yes day. It's what? What? What's yes day? I'll explain it to you later. Come on, little nosy face. I gotta go wake mommy up. <sighs> she could have just told me instead of having me grip and work. Wakey, wakey, mommy. Yeah, we know. We heard you the first time. Today, me and your dad have to say yes to any crazy, ridiculous, outrageous, not so good of an idea that you two come up with. Yeah, and I made my own world. Today, the parents are doing it, and not us. What? We did her in Wait a minute. So let's just say, now I'm just saying, let's just say that I decided let's go buy jetpacks, and we fly up to the sky, and then we make it rain. Yeah, what would you say to that idea? They would say yes. They have to say yes. And if they say no at any point, then they have to... Hold on now. Don't either one of y'all say nothing crazy. Like the toilet seat. No, no. Dad, is that a no I hear on yes day? He didn't mean that. But yes, if we say that word, we have to lick the toilet seat. Yes, we have to come up with something crazy, Alex. I'm talking crazy, crazy. Got it. Dessert for breakfast. Oh, uh, I don't eat no. <gasps> You're doing it. I'm only taking yes for an answer. Now let's go. Okay, son. Let's go. Okay, so you both have six minutes to eat all of these desserts for your breakfast, or else you're going to be licking the nasty, nasty toilet where I made a big poopy in for mommy's disgusting food nachos. Do you accept the challenge? Uh, yeah, we, we accept it. Timer starts now. Your time is up. Everybody stop. Yeah. First challenge done, baby. High five. Yep, we Charlotte. <coughs> this bad. 
don't say while well, I'm up now. Yeah, we see that. Good morning, sleepyhead. So, shall we continue, Casey? No, no. No one's continuing anything. Wait, Dad. Did you just say no? Right. Instead of yes. Continue. <laughs> What can be worse than being drenched in cold water after eating dessert for breakfast? Let's go buy a monkey from the zoo and, and then we can... Then we can... Then what? Move to Antarctica and go live with the penguins! What? He said buy a monkey from the zoo and then we're going to move to Antarctica and then we're going to live there with the penguins. So pack your bags and let's the smartest idea ever, but first we have to go get dressed. No, no, no! Where do you little salamanders think you're going? Me and Casey are dressing you for the day. Oh, oh brother. brother. Ah! gonna go and catch it i'm so tired a five minute nap will not hurt so what's the makeover you doing my hair nope your makeup my what yep now close your eyes <laughs> i wonder what they're doing man i gotta go check on dad and casey mom I gotta go see what casey and dad are Mom! What's going on? You okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? Were you just sleep? I thought you told me you left something. I've been out there waiting on you for a good five minutes. I did leave something. Um, have you seen a, a giraffe around here in the carpet? Mom, a giraffe? Really? How do you think I am? Do you think I'm... Do you think I'm Casey? I'm not Casey. I know that you tell her that lie all the time. Last time I seen him, he was in the carpet and... You caught me. Yeah, I was asleep, but... But, but, but don't tell them, okay? Uh, I'm sorry? So how do I look? You look like a princess, Dad. Aw, thanks, Nugget. Dad, Casey, are y'all ready to go to the zoo? Yep, we surely are. Ah! What's, what's wrong? He looks like a princess, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, sure. Girl, I know you did your thing. Let me see. Casey, what in the... What in the castle, no princess and the beast did you do to my face? Hey, Dad, let's just go. Uh, when we come back, you can just take it off. No, 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 I'm done. I've had with your evil yesterday suggestions. From now on, it's no day. But, no buts. I'm done. Why'd you do that? Why'd she do this? Do you see my face? I look like a clown that belongs in a circus. Jimmy, really? Yes, really. Do you want to squeeze my nose? Well, Casey. It sounds, I mean, it sounds like yes, day is over. No, wait, not now. It's not over until I say it's over. Yeah, but Dad just said. No, what? I don't care what he says. We're getting our monkey and we're going to the penguin. All right, let's go buy us a penguin with no money. Come on, let's just finish. We, we didn't already start it. Fine, come on. Hey, kids, um, let's finish. Uh, kids, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh-oh, babe, they're gone. Good morning, baby. Good morning, Grandma. How's your morning? It's going great. No, I just got me some coffee, so my morning's going great, too. Okay, Grandma. Nice to know. Hey, now, baby, I made you and Zachary some oatmeal, so okay. I want you to go out there and sit down there and enjoy oatmeal. Grandma's great cooking. You don't like oatmeal? Oh, well, I don't like oatmeal either, Grandma. Thank you. Yeah, baby. That's, that's my cousin. Why would I be talking to your cousin? No, this is my friend from school. What friend, baby? Grandma. Baby, I'm not trying to be all up in your beeswax or whatever you kids yeah, call it, but um, I just want to know who you're talking to. Oh, you have to go? Baby, all right. Okay, bye, JC. Baby, you better not be talking to boys in my house. Why can't I? You're messing with me. Well, your mom does not allow that at her house. Well, that's why I'm not at my mom. You're too young to know what love is and all about that. 
that stuff. <sighs> Grandma, I know what love is and I'm so in love Trust with Trust me, baby, you. these strangers will hurt your feelings in a second. Did you say stranger? Yes, baby. He's not a stranger. I know him. How long have you known him? A, a minute. Only a minute, baby? Grandma, That's not a long time. Grandma, please, please, please. Baby, I'm he, just trying to help you. You don't got to be disrespectful stranger. to me. He's not a stranger and all strangers aren't bad. Well, baby, you just said you only know him for a minute. You didn't even know him for a whole I day. I didn't actually mean I knew him for one exact minute. And even if I did, he's really nice. And nice people are good people to be around. Not all nice people are good people, baby. Why? Because they're not. I can't wait till my mom come to get me. I can't wait. Well, baby, I can't, I can't wait till your mom come to get you too because I'm tired of slaving over that kid. Well, what, what, what then, Grandma? What are you trying to say? Well, if you can't wait for him to come or your mom to come, then just go wait outside, baby. Outside? Strangers as well. but I'll put it out just for you. Okay, um, and another thing, I'm not supposed to be talking to you because you're a stranger and my mom says not to talk to strangers and my grandma also said that strangers are not nice. Well, guess what? what? I keep really good secrets. <gasps> you like secrets? I love secrets. Oh, I love secrets too. Okay, that'll be our hey, love. you know what else I like? What? Candy, do you want some? Um, yeah, I like candy too, but my mom says that I can't take candy from any stranger at I all. 
Oh. We're keeping secrets here so we can be friends and strangers' friends. Do you want to be my friend? No way. I would way. love to be your friend. <gasps> J2 likes being my friend too, but my grandma's hey, who's J2? Um, he's my crush at school. Oh. Yeah. You should have a crush. Yeah, me too. My grandma thinks not. I'm feeling kind of sad. Why? What's wrong? Wait, why are you sad? I lost my puppy. You lost your puppy? Mm -hmm. No way. What color is your puppy? Uh, he's green. I painted green? him green. Hey, maybe if you help me find my puppy, I could buy you one. Well, I don't know if I can if I can go anywhere with you. It won't take too long. I just need the help finding my flyers so I can post them everywhere. Oh, I was just about to ask you, did you post your flyers? My mom says that whenever you lose something, like a cat or a dog or a snake or anything, you should post flyers so people know that they're missing. But hmm, Your mom raised a good person. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting on her. Would you like to help me find it while you're waiting on her? Yeah, we'll love to help you find your puppy. All right, I can go get the flyers and see if I can find them in my trunk unless you want to come with me. Of course I want to come with you, but I have to be right back here in 10 minutes. Right, five minutes or less. Five I'm minutes coming. or less? Deal. Hey, sweetie P, where's your sister? Ah, uh, I think she's in her skin, grandma. All right, listen here, little boy. I'm getting sick of my grandkids talking to me like that. Where is your sister? I don't see her in the room. She's not eating her oatmeal. Where is she? I'm being serious. She's in her skin. All right, listen here, young man. I'm not for to keep playing with you. Don't talk to me like that. Just because I'm old, don't mean I won't go out there and get that switch for your little hiney. Now, where is your little sister? Fine, she's outside waiting for mom since you kicked her out the house. And since you're going outside to go get that so-called switch that I'm so scared of, you might as well just get my sister too while you're at it. All right, listen here. If I go get that switch, you better send your little butt out there. Get your little butt off that computer and go out there and go get your sister and tell her that your mom says she's going to have to stay for work longer, which means you guys got to stay here longer, sadly. Sadly? Sadly for you, or us, because last time I checked, your food stinks. You don't know how to cook. You kicked my sister out, so now she's sad. And now I'm sad because I'm stuck in here talking to you while my sister's out there having fun, probably talking to all the strangers she wants to. I will send your little Heidi out there to go get her, then, and you can be with the strangers, too. Go get your sister. Fine, I'll go get her, then. Why do I have to be the one that looks for her? I'm so sick of this ugly, white face little girl. I don't even see her anywhere out here. Where can she have gone? She's waiting for mom, but she's nowhere here. What do you mean what kind of dog? I don't have a dog. What do you mean you don't have a dog? We're looking for your exactly dog. That's what I said. I don't have a dog. So how did you have a dog if you were looking for a dog? Oh, you mean, oh, my dog, my puppy, you mean. Well, I don't have him because I'm looking for him, obviously. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. You don't have him because you're looking yeah, for him. Yeah, that if makes you a lot of sense. Be... Now, can you please stop talking and just help me look for my dog? Actually, no, I cannot. My mama said that I could talk whenever I want to, wherever I want to, and I can say whatever I want as long as I'm nice and I'm being nice to you because well, I'm helping you. Well, I'm not you. your mom, so how about you not talk to me and tell me about what your mom said because I really didn't ask. Okay, so how well, about you just do what you came here to help me do and that's help me find my dog. You don't have to be so rude. You're the one who needs to help, Mr. Man. What are you? You look like a lady, but you sound like a man. I'm a lady man. A lady man? Well, I've never heard of that before. Yeah, um, Hey, um, she just talks so hey, much. Hey, excuse me, who are you talking to? Myself, obviously. Who are you talking to yourself? That's creepy. Are you going to help me find my thing or not? I'm sorry, a question, one question. Why do you have rope and tape in there in the bag? A duffel, a duffel bag? Uh, because I have a son and he had a science project to do, so I needed him to... You have it. a son? Whoa, stop right there, pause. We're getting to know each other because you're a stranger to me and I'm a stranger to you. So I would like to know more well, about you. Well, I don't you. want how... you to get to know more about me. Well, I want to get to know more about your son. So how old is your son? Um, just He's 24. My... 24, yeah. no way he goes to my school. I know he doesn't go to my school. Um, Why does your son still do projects if he's Because he's 24? in college and he's taking uh, a chemistry, he's taking chemistry, so he needs to They do, they still do work in college? They, they do projects in college? Oh no, I'm not going to college, you know? Hey, can you just help me do what I need help with? Um, yeah, but did you find the flyers I yet? I can't find the flyers, I'm too big to get in the trunk. I need you to go ahead and well, get back to the Well, you could've just asked me, I'm a small little girl. You could've asked me, I could've fit in the trunk. All you had to say was, hey, could you get in I the trunk? I just said it, can you get in the trunk please and get the flyers? Okay, I can get the flyers, but I wish my grandma was nicer like you instead of bossing me around telling you, you know that. telling me so about your family, you remember what strangers? Your mom said you shouldn't talk to strangers, right? Well, yeah. If she didn't tell you that, she's not a good mom. Well, does that mean I shouldn't be talking to you? Well, you're helping me, so if you're going to help me, then help me. Okay. Get well, in the truck and get the thing for me. I can't get back there. I'm too big. Okay, could you just hold my flamingo purse? 
in my bed. Did you really have to bring all of this stuff? Yes, because I'm leaving my grandma's house and my mom is going to be here really soon. I'm going home with my mom, so I have to be ready for so her. So your grandma she... left you out here by herself? Yeah, my grandma kicked me out of the house. Huh, interesting. Yeah, interesting, but my mom is on the way. She's coming to get me really, okay, really. just give me the stuff. Okay, here you go. We got to hurry up. Okay. Um, I got a dog to get. Um, hey. You see it back there? Um, no, what does it look like? What does it say? Um, it's supposed to be blue. I see blue tape. Yeah, but I'm not looking for tape, lady. I'm looking for flyers. I'm not I'm a girl. Little girl, I'm looking for flyers. Can you hurry up? Um, I'm just saying, I see yellow rope and blue tape. Go more back there. It might be in the corner. I don't see it. Yeah, you don't see it because I don't have a dog but and I don't, don't have, have anything. Hey, Ruth, um, Zach, Layla, you ready? Zach, your mom's here. You ready? You best believe I'm ready. You don't know how long I've been waiting on you. You got me stuck here with this lady. I already know you. Yeah, you need to be a little bit more respectful. That is your grandma. Now, where do, do you have all your stuff? Yes, I got my game. I'm just going to leave my clothes because I already know you're going to get mad at me. What sense does saying. that make? What are, you, what are you going to wear when you get back to the house? You're not going to have no clothes. You're just going to keep your clothes on that you got on, huh? Maybe I could just keep washing this one. Or maybe you could give me some new school clothes. No, no, you should just buy. You know what? Not right now. Where's your sister? Is she got her stuff ready? Because I just got off of time. I'm ready to get in my bed, relax, and just do nothing. Oh, she went outside, and she told me that she was waiting on Well, you need to go and get her from outside, then. What do you mean? Just go tell her come back she in. She's not out there anymore. I think Dad picked her up when I went. Dad didn't pick her up. But when I checked earlier. But he couldn't have picked her up. I'm telling you, when I went out there to go look for her, she wasn't outside. Okay, well, Dad couldn't have picked you up because Dad is on a business trip. And, oh, Ruth, you already knew that, which is why my kids are here with you. Oh, uh, I actually forgot, darling. Maybe she's still out there waiting on the curb. Go check, Zachy. But you already told me to check, and I did. She wasn't there. Well, Zachy, just check one more time, baby. This is beginning to get ridiculous. My kids come over here so that you can watch them. My daughter's out there. I don't even know where she at. My son is up here. I already told you she's not out there anymore. I checked. Baby, just go check one more time. She's got to be out there if she's not in here. Grandma, I don't want to go back out there. I well, Zachary, just go out there, please. I already look. All right, now, little boy. If you don't go, I'm going to get my sweat. Fine. Excuse me, Mom. Slam that game on that thing one more time. You ain't going to have no. Baby, leave, leave him alone. Just come talk to me. I'm coming, Ruth. I'm coming. <laughs>
that phone when I thought when I brought you in here blindfolded, I told you I'd give you a chance to talk. Yeah, but, but I'm talking to J2. And and I told you not to be loud. And who the heck is J2? That <laughs> better not be no undercover cop. He's not To get off that phone, and if I hear him talking about anything on this situation, I'll be coming for him too. Well, I can't tell him to get off the phone because it's not a phone, it's iPad. Okay, so wherever it is, get off of it before I dis before you what? take it. Do not let me take it because you didn't buy it. You can't take something that you never bought because you're not my mommy. I didn't and buy you, did I? But I took you, didn't I? Well, maybe you should give me back. Well, maybe I shouldn't, and I'm gonna take J2 if you don't get that off that you phone. You don't even know what he looks like. He lives at 1435 Levenworth Street. No! Get off that phone. We have to get off. No, wait, how do you know where he stays? You know where all the little kids stay. How you think I found where you were at when you were on the side of the street? But you was my best friend the way it was. No, you thought I was your best friend. Yeah. The person that you just met in five minutes, I tricked you that easily. I let you think I had a green dog. A green dog, really? I also let you think I had a son. I don't have a son. Yeah. If I had a son, I wouldn't let him play with anybody who meets strangers like you. You're his daddy. You're not a good person. Now, if I hear you making noise in here, <laughs> guess what? I have you in a barricaded room so nobody can hear a you. Barrel. It's soundproof. No one can hear in here. <laughs> now, if I hear you in here yelling again, then we're going to have a You're problem. meaner than my grandma. I wonder if my mommy is off yet. Yeah. I don't understand how you can let your sister just leave like that. Me? I didn't let her leave. What grandma said you did. I your sister out of her house and didn't tell me that you're the one who made your sister leave. Me? I'm not even the one in charge. You never put me in charge. I'm telling you, grandma's the one who kicked her out. We caught Layla on the phone with her boy and she got mad. So that's why she kicked Layla out. Layla didn't even want to eat grandma's oatmeal. Leave it don't taste like garbage. That's not the story that grandma told me, so I don't think you- Well, grandma's a liar! What did I tell you about disrespecting your elders? You're not going to sit here and call your grandma a liar. Well, you're she not lies on me. I didn't even- I'm never in charge. Please don't think like that. We're going to find her, okay? Even if my life depends on it. Miss Ruth, is this you? Jenkins Doohickey, your servant that I was supposed to pick up some little girl from the side of the street. Well, kidnapped some little girl from the side of the street. I took her and I pushed her in my trunk and now I got her in my closet. Did you have her? So what are you calling my phone for? The mission's done. Just hold on to her. I told you I'm going to call my phone. Police could be listening to us and I don't know how to use all this new technology. Oh, I didn't think of that. Sorry, Miss Ruth. Uh, well, I didn't know what else to do. Do nothing. You just hold the girl. Her mother's here looking for her right now. You didn't tell him about me, did you? You didn't call the police or anything, did you? Now, baby, why would I call the police and tell on you? If I tell on you, then I know you're going to tell on me because you're not that smart. Oh, well, well, what do I do now? Listen, baby, just feed her oatmeal with green gummy bears in a glass bowl with a clear spoon, okay? Well, who is this little girl to you anyway? Baby, even this, it, it's, it's none of your business. Fine. It's my, it's my granddaughter. I have your granddaughter in my closet? Uh-uh. Don't be acting all surprised now. You weren't surprised when I gave you the mission, right? So don't act surprised now. Just do it and complete what I told you to do. That's how you do your own family? Yes, baby. That's how I do my own family. That's what I do when I need to teach lessons. Now go. Wait, before you hang out, what do I do with it? So tomorrow, this is what you're going to do. You're going to ask the little girl for her mom's number, and you're going to demand a million dollars. Do they even have that? Just do as I say. Don't call me again till you get the money. And if you get caught, you better not snitch on me. You're on your own. Who's on their own, Grandma? Last of my check. <laughs> You've probably been on your own what, like 30 years It's now? not funny. That's your grandma. You need to be a little bit more respectful. Sorry, Grandma. Oh, baby, it's okay. I know these young kids these days don't know how to mind their business like we did back in the day. But were you able to find your sister? Does it look like we found my little sister? You don't see my little sister anywhere here, do you? Well, what are you going to do about it, baby? You got to find her. I'm going to the police station tomorrow. Police station, baby? You don't need to do all that to find your rude little daughter. Yes, that's my daughter and she is out there scared. Honestly, I'm scared just sitting here wondering what is going on with her. So I'm going to go to the police station tomorrow because I need to find her. If you would like to come with us tomorrow, fine. Come with us. If not, you can stay here. I really do not care right now. Now, come on, Zachary. Okay, Ma, I just got to grab my... I said, come on, you but better... Ma, I just... Walk your behind out the door. Hey, I brought your oatmeal. I don't want any oatmeal. Why don't you want the oatmeal? I'm not hungry. Well, you did say you were hungry like 20 minutes ago. That was 20 minutes ago. I'm not hungry 20 minutes later. What did you do? You ate my clothes or something? I didn't eat anything. You don't even have any clothes. Okay, did you eat my shoes? No. Okay, do you want this oatmeal? I don't I spent want all my time looking for your favorite oatmeal, and I think you should take it. I don't want the oatmeal. I don't eat just any type of 
I just milk. said I spent all my time looking for your favorite one. Well, I like gummy bears in my oatmeal, so Look, I don't... I know, you like green gummy bears in your oatmeal. Do you want me to tell you what type of oatmeal you like to? Sure, tell me so I can tell you that. Cream. What other type of oatmeal do I eat then? Blueberries and cream. But well, what type of gummy bears do I eat my blueberries and cream? Green. You're good. You're really I know good. I'm good. Now, do you want this oatmeal? No, I don't want I also the... bought it in a glass bowl because you only eat out glass bowls and I also got you a plastic spoon. How So many questions. Are you Santa or something? It's no way you could just know that about me and you don't even know me. Is it because I'm your best friend? You're not my best friend, never will be. You're nothing but a little kid that I took off the street, just like all the other ones I took. Now, do you want this oatmeal or not? Stop. Only if you questions. tell me how you know I like it. I'm not gonna tell you anything. Why? Because I'm not. Because you're a snitch. I'm not a snitch. How do you know what type of oatmeal I like? How do you know? How, how do you know? You know so bad? Yeah, how? You better make me mad before I do something to you, little girl. You like my grandma told me. My grandma told Wait, you. No, I mean. Wait, how do you know my grandma? Do you want to me? How did my grandma I'll be right back. I gotta go do something. No, no. How does he know my grandma? And what does he mean? She told me. How did you know that? Because he came in here and he tried to give me some oatmeal with well, green gummy bears. Wait a minute. Green gummy bears? That's what I said. Green gummy bears and your oatmeal? You think that's okay? Yes, but get, I'm getting back to my story. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Go ahead. I love ugly while you're sleeping, but good thing you're not my daughter. I'm so bored, man. I can't wait till mom finally finds stinking Layla so she can stop worrying about her. So <gasps> hey, Layla. No, this J2. Oh, hey, J2. Uh, Layla's not here right now. She's missing or probably just hiding for attention. I'm sorry. See you later. Wait, I got a man. He really go hang up on me, but I'll put your hand in that totally bad ass in this phone. Why? I got a message for you. Dude, I don't want to hear about you and Layla's love life. Your sister told me to tell you. Wait a minute, you're with my sister. I knew it. You and my sister better not be in no tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Whoa. Uh, no, bro. I would never. Girls have cooties. Hey, don't talk about my sister. Just tell me your message. Old stinking man. Did something fishy. A uh, old stinking man, dude. What? No, no, no. Wait, no, no, no. She said, old stinking lady did something fishy. Is that it? Follow the scent. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know, but I guess I just have to put my detective skills to it. Let me know when you find her. Okay, and also one more question. What? Do you really like my sister? Yeah, she's so beautiful. I knew you were weird. Bye. Call 
calling me and he said that Layla said that. Who is J2? Listen, J2 is like Layla's crush or something she like that. She got a crush? Mom, that's besides the point. J2 so called me and he said that he was on the phone with Layla on her tablet. And Layla said, old stinky lady, follow the scent. It's got to be grandma. I'm trying to understand how do you put that with grandma. I'm talk, Layla. Okay, well, we got to go now. Okay, well, should I still change? No, yeah, boy, we ain't got time to change. We need to go now. Let's go. Okay. Hey, my little money maker. You want anything to eat? No, I don't want anything from last time. Oh, uh, you're not going to keep starving yourself on my watch. Uh, yes, I am. I don't want anything from you, but, 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 but I just want to go home. What do you mean you want to go I home? I want to go home. I want to go home. You don't home. like being away from your family? No, not anymore. I want to go back. House. When well, can I go? You better not bring your mother up unless she's talking about giving me my million dollars that I want. What million dollars? Million dollars to get you back. My mommy doesn't have a million dollars. Uh, yes she does. That's not what I heard. She has a million dollars. But do I think you're worth a million dollars? Mm -mm. Okay, first of all, she doesn't have a million dollars. And I would know because she's my mom. And I'm telling you, she doesn't have a million dollars. So where did you even hear that at? Okay, where do you know? How do you know that she doesn't have a million dollars? you weren't worth a million dollars. Where did you hear that my mommy has a million dollars? None of your business. Tell me now. What did I tell you about questioning me? Tell me now. I'm not telling you anything. Okay, fine. I'm not going to tell you what I did to, to police. Huh? Tell me now. What do you mean, police? Where did you hear about the... Your grandma. My grandma. <laughs> no, I didn't finish my sentence. Just give the act of blood. What up? I already know. I already know. No, you what? I didn't even say anything. You and my grandma are best buds. You guys. My grandma? I don't even know your grandma. Could you just give the act up already? You better not say anything about what I just said. Okay, but. But now, nothing. I better not hear this coming out. What are you talking about, police? I'm trying to send my grandma to the jail. Would you like to help me? Not if it involves you already telling on me about police. It has to do with my grandma. Would you like to help me put my grandma in the big people jail? And you know my grandma has a million dollars, right? She's rich. She has. She's really rich, actually. She's All right, listen. Rich, I'm rich. only doing your thing on one condition. What's the condition? Does it smell good? Dude, I'm not talking about conditioner. I said I'm only going to do it all for one way. Okay, I'm sorry. Just and go the ahead. the condition is that when we stop your grandma, that you tell them that I'm your best friend, that I never kidnapped. You want me to tell them that you're my best bud? What I'm trying to say is you're my best bud. You said you wasn't my best bud. Well, now you're trying to do business with me, right? So we better... Okay, okay, okay. I'm not doing it. So deal. Mm. I said deal or no deal. Either you yeah. deal with me or you not stay in this closet. Okay. Why'd you tell me that her mom had a million dollars knowing that she didn't? Yeah, knowing that my mommy doesn't have a million dollars. Well, I said that to ask her for the million. I never said that she had it, baby. Well, since you want to do people like that, we got something for you. You ready? I'm ready.
you're definitely not rubbing off on me, not with that dirty skin. And I definitely can't tell you here. Bye, best bud! I'm not your best bud, I'm a stranger. Oh, yeah! Remember that! Oh, hi, Officer Roman. You just walked into the look with the door open there, and you're waiting for your well, girl to So, who am I here for? Hey, not me. I'm just kidnapping. We'll see about that right there, my boy. I'll get you right there to the station. Mom, what's for breakfast, man? It's about 11 in the morning. I haven't ate anything yet. I want some eggs. I want grits. I want bacon. I want pancakes. I want waffles. I want it all. I don't know. I'm trying to sleep. Oh, my God, man. You never know anything. How'd you make it this far? Excuse me? I said, man, you beautiful. How you look so good? Oh, okay. I wonder what she thinks we're going to cook, man. I'm only 11 years old. I can't even open a popsicle without cutting my finger. Ah, ain't nothing in this room. What does she want me to cook? Okay, 
so look, I was in here crying in the corner because he took my candy, and then that's when the closet started talking to me. So I was like, okay, the closet talking to me. I'm gonna go see what's happening. I open the door, I get whipped in the closet, and then that's when some person named the candy man gives me free candy. And you told me nothing in this world is free, but check me out. You keep on. You keep on eating that candy. I'm telling you, that candy real, real good now that you're eating it. But after you start eating that candy, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad for you, your stomach, and your teeth. But, but no, listen to me. It's going to hurt your teeth. Then your teeth are going to start turning yellow. Oh, yellow teeth. Yup, and then black teeth. Wow, black sounds cool. Then they're gonna fall they're out. They're gonna fall wow. out, huh? Hmm, so if I give him more candy, his teeth is gonna fall out, and then that makes us even for the tooth he made me lose. <laughs> I wonder where she put all that candy. Hmm. Should I give him all the candy? Yep, I'm mm -hmm, gonna give him all the candy in the world. Yay! You guys are coming with me. I have something very, very special planned for you. Here you Oh, Katie, 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 I love Katie. Oh my God, Katie's the best in the world. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you can get out now. I have to enjoy my candy. I still have a mission to complete. No problem. Oh, I have a party. I'll be right back. You stay right there, Mr. Katie. <sighs> Sorry, I just feel good knowing I have all this candy waiting on me. Ah, you're so cute. Ah! Then gone. Oh, me, boy. Okay, first things first, let me go. Now, the second thing is, I done already told you there's nothing I could do. What? What do you mean? She means you're just gonna have to let your teeth fall out. No way, I'll break my teeth. No way, there's a car. There's no way. It's just a car and I have it in that car. I have yellow hair or my teeth are different. I don't know. <laughs> Right, man, this is not good for 